I am very happy to be able to introduce to you uh, Matthew Nelson. He is the president of the Office for Community Renewal at the Division of Housing of Homes and Community Renewal. We'll, we'll keep having to say that five times. Um, and so Matthew's been with HCR for a little over a year, just under a year, uh, and has uh, been thrown into the fire uh, with all the changes and transitions. Uh, but we are able to work together with him, and uh, and so we, we are happy to be able to work and partner with him on all of the programs. Uh, just so that you understand, the Office of Community Renewal governs all the programs pretty much that you work with. Uh, all the local programs, uh, the, the state home, um, if you are receiving access or restore, um, all of those programs are under um, Matthew's umbrella. So with that, I welcome Matthew. Um, well, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. Um, thank you to Jessica for that kind of introduction. Um, that picture you saw of me, I guess I figured out how to stop this. The picture of me up here is actually uh, one year ago, about this time, it was my uh, very first event on the job, just about a year ago, speaking to the uh, conference last year up in Albany. Um, I know many of you weren't there, so it's nice to see uh, more new faces in the audience uh, this year. And um, you know, the time of celebration of anniversaries, as Jessica said, I'm about to hit my one year anniversary as you all celebrated 35 years. Got a lot on me, uh, but I hope to be around for a long time working closely with all of you. Uh, I want to start by uh, reintroducing uh, Rebecca and Jerry and thanking them for their work. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Andrea and Barry and Sony, who are gone far, they're, they're just transitioned to a, a different role, working with all of you in a different capacity to help strengthen our programs and make the agency work more efficiently and effectively for our cause. So I want to thank them for their, their work in the past and their ongoing work with all of you uh, at the agency. Um, I am here today to introduce a, uh, a little bit of history about the neighborhood preservation program. Back in the mid-1970s, a series of statewide hearings were held to focus on issues uh, and challenges facing community-based organizations struggling to preserve their neighborhoods. In the summer of 1977, following these hearings, a half-million-dollar pilot program was passed by the New York State Legislature as the, the infant of the Neighborhood Preservation Program. By November of that same year, 105 applications were received by the state's housing agency clearly demonstrated a strong demand for the program and the funding behind it. For this initial pilot, selected agencies received $10,000 each. Think about that number, it's $10,000 each. It's, it's, if we come 35 years and we're only at 60 something. It's, we're still doing great work with the little bit that you received. And for some groups, this was the first funding that they had ever received after many years of trying. But, as a testament to your hard work and your dedication, progress that followed was quick. Before the initial awards were even spent, the legislature, legislature passed and Governor Hugh Carey signed into law the Neighborhood Preservation Act. There's a fantastic photo of that, uh, that day. Uh, this included a tenfold increase in funding for the program, appropriating $5 million in addition to the original half million that was set aside in the pilot program. In the spring of 1978, the first 50 neighborhood preservation companies launched with an award of $10,000 each. Since the program's inception, that number has grown statewide to nearly 150 groups. Sadly, over time, we have lost our groups. But today, HCR and the Neighborhood Preservation Coalition are uh, here to take a moment to congratulate and thank the 19 remaining original neighborhood preservation companies that have stayed in the program since their launch back in 1978. So without further ado, I'm going to run through that list. I'm going to ask you all to uh, hold back your, your applause and cheers for these groups as I run through them. Um, from Manhattan, the good old Lower East Side, Hope Community, Housing Conservation Coordinators, Lower East Side Coalition, Housing Development, Manhattan Valley Development Corporation, UJC. UJC of the East Side, Washington Heights Inwood 
Preservation and Restoration Corporation. From Westchester, the Interstate Council for Action, these are a little bit out of order, so I apologize. Uh, Queens, the Greater, Wh Greater Pitchwood uh, Restoration Corporation, and NHS of Jamaica. From Brooklyn, Community Organization of Southern Brooklyn, Los Sores, Midwood Development. <coughs> From Ithaca and the Finger Lakes region of New York State, Ithaca Neighborhood Housing Services. From the Capital Region, Better Neighborhoods and Trip. From the Syracuse Central New York region, Syracuse Model Neighborhood. From Buffalo and Western New York, Fillmore Leroy Area Residents, and their Commissioner of Town, and we're going to stop there. <laughs> and then from Rochester, rounding out the group, the Southeast Area Coalition. The representatives of, uh, I think, a dozen or so of those groups are here with us today. So if you could each stand, and if we could all uh, give a round of applause to those groups. So our, our thanks and congratulations again from THCR, DHCR, whatever you call it, um, and the uh, uh, preservation of the Coalition of New York State. Uh, each of you. Over the past 35 years, the program has grown. Today there are 147 neighborhood preservation companies partnered with HCR. Um, through the years, you've seen uh, different governors, different legislatures, different commissioners, different means, um, all good, bad, and different. But um, today I have the pleasure and the honor to introduce uh, the newest and latest commissioner of the New York State Homes and Community Renewal, Daryl St. Towns. Uh, Governor Cuomo appointed uh, then Assembly Member Towns to be the commissioner and CEO of New York State Homes and Community Renewal shortly after he was sworn into office in uh, January of 2011. And he couldn't pick a better person to lead the agency into the future, uh, working with each of you and what you do for affordable housing and community every day. Uh, Commissioner Towns had spent 18 years in the Assembly uh, prior to his appointment to the agency, and in that time worked closely with uh, colleagues like Assemblyman Farrell, who's here today, um, Senator Kathy Young, who chairs the Housing uh, Committee in the Senate, who's essential to uh, the work that you do and the funding that you receive each year. Um, so he has great relationships that help further our cause in the legislature, um, and he knows the intersection between federal component of what we do and the state component of what we do and the urban and the rural of what we do and that whether we're rural, urban or rural every bit of what we do is, is equally important um, and so without further ado it's my pleasure and my honor to introduce to you commissioner daryl towns 